Today we're going to set up a Golang environment in Manjaro, and it's super easy. So I've been playing around with Manjaro a lot lately, and it's a pretty cool distribution. It's based off Arch, which I'm a huge fan of. So let's get started. I'm here at our Manjaro desktop, and I'm going to open up a command prompt. The first thing we need to do is update the system. You can do this through the GUI if you want, but I always prefer the command prompt. And we do that by typing in sudo pacman dash capital SYU. And we're done. You didn't think I was going to make you wait for that, did you? So now we're going to install Golang itself. And I'll type in sudo pacman slash s go. And it's done. So now I'm going to create a projects folder, and we'll create a hello world to test this out. Let's create a quick file with Vi. And now we'll type in go build hello.go. And there's our file, so we'll run it. And it runs. But we don't want to do all of our work with Vi. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But let's install VS Code. Now the version of Visual Studio Code that I want is in the AUR, so we'll install Git. And I'm going to make a source directory for this. I'll go back into the AUR page and copy the git clone URL. And then clone it. And now we'll run make package dash i. And we see this error. You may run into this too, which is why I left it in the video. This is a brand new Manjaro install, so I haven't installed the tools yet to make AUR packages. To do that, we'll type in pacman s base dash d e v e l. And you can choose three for bin utils and make this work, or all of them. I'm going to install all of them because I'm going to be building a lot of things on this machine. And now we run make package dash i and we're back in business. And we're done. So we load up Visual Studio Code. Now we'll go back to that projects folder. Now, it recommends the Go extension, so I'll go ahead and install that. And as you can see, it recommends that we install Go Outline. So let's go ahead and install that. And now it's installing a bunch of Go stuff for us. So now that this is all set up, it's super easy. We can even run and debug the file. Now I've put some simple code here to add a couple of numbers together. And we'll add in a breakpoint and run it. Check it out, we are debugging. So it's that easy to set up a Go development environment in Manjaro. It's simple and easy, so have fun and get to coding. If you like my videos, please subscribe.